Hi, this is Mike Bjorkman. Thanks for watching SCV TV and our segment, Minute with Mike. Appreciate you joining us. I wanted to talk today about buyers, specifically how they're interviewing agents today. In today's market, we know our inventory is gone. It's extremely hard to find a home and it requires one heck of an agent to get you a home. I wanted to turn this into a little free report that I can offer you guys uh, and get more detailed when you, when you request it. However, I wanted to go over a couple of the things and I wanted to just give you general information like I normally do, but it's turned into kind of a commercial for myself and my team. What I mean by that is there's a lot of things out there that agents can't or won't do to find you a home. Let's say you call up a normal agent and they say, hey, um, no problem, Mike, I know you want to buy a home. Let me go ahead and email you properties as they come on the market. Well, let's be realistic. How fun is it to get an email of a property, go see it that night, only to know there's four or five offers on it already, and some of them are cash because the investors are dying to get rid of their cash before the prices go up? And some are people that are just way emotional, have already lost three or four properties, and now they're willing to overbid, which of course puts you in a bidding war. So that's no fun. So we specialize in finding homes that aren't on the market yet, and I wanted to tell you how we do that. Uh, so I have about 10 things here. The first thing I want to let you know is if you said, Mike, I want to live in this specific neighborhood, this specific price range or area or floor plan, we don't just sit behind a desk and enter stuff in the MLS. We'll physically go knock on doors and mail. It's not something new, but it's something that a lot of agents, they're even nervous, embarrassed, don't have time, but we will specifically make a plan of attack based on our title records and public records to go directly to those homeowners and say, hey, if you were planning to move in the near future, it's possible I might have a buyer for your home. Seems simple, but nobody does it. The second thing is social media. Uh, over 25% of all of our visits to our virtual tours for our listings are social media. So why wouldn't it work if I put out there on Facebook or Twitter or Pinterest or whatever, hey, I have a buyer looking for this, why wouldn't it work the same way when I have a home that I'm selling saying, hey, I have a home for sale. So we do that as well. For instance, yesterday I put a couple list of homes that I needed uh, to find for a buyer. When I woke up this morning, there was over 40 messages, private messages in my mailbox saying, I know somebody, I am somebody, I heard about something, or this agent has coming up on the market. That's really powerful. That's a lot of opportunity that I didn't have yesterday. So let's move on. Network groups. Network groups are very powerful as well. My network group called the SCV Network Group, we've been together for years and years and years. We're the top agents in this town. We get together every Tuesday, and just so you know, these agents that we have assembled control 30% of the market. So every time you see a for sale sign with a sold sign up on it, that could be us networking before it even comes on the market. So we control about 30 to 40% of the market at any given time. And that's only about 25 of us out of 1,500 agents in Santa Clarita. So I'm really proud to be part of that group. But we get together every Tuesday and we say, hey, so and so, I have this property coming on the market. Do you have a buyer for it? And they'll say, I could sell that house if you could sell this house. And we go around the table and that's how we take care of business. Um, when people say, what's a pocket listing, Mike? Well, that's what we're talking about. People that might be painting, sprucing up. Now, especially, we're waiting until after the holidays. So we have this inventory. It's just kind of hidden from the general public. And that's when it's a good time to go in and grab it uh, before everybody else knows about it. Uh, a great benefit of working with me, obviously I've sold thousands of homes here in Santa Clarita and done uh, thousands of rental transactions. So I have a database of way more people than your average person out here. And if I need to, what I do is I'll email out to them, I'll mail out to them. And in our program called Top Producer, we put the specifics of what home they have. So if you're interested only in a one story, I can say, hey, past clients, sphere of influence, friends, I have a buyer specifically looking for a home like yours, a one story built after 1990 with a lot over 7,500 square feet. That's powerful. I get a lot of phone calls, a lot of emails, and that's another way we put people together uh, to find them homes all the time. Uh, I mentioned rentals. Being in property management as the broker owner of SCV Leasing, I have access to thousands, and I think specifically right now we have over 6,500 active tenants in a database, and we manage over 350 homes. All these lease onlys that we did, over the past years is thousands of people too. Well, they're in a database. And a lot of times if you're an investor waiting for the market to pick up, well, we know the market's picked up, so it's a really good time to sell. So I have access to all those people. So when people say, Mike, how in the world do you find these homes? Pretty simple, I got a big database. Um, so we go back to an email campaign. Email, what I call blast, it's probably not the best way. We 
probably think of as email spam, but as an agent, I'm doing my job. I'm finding property and buyers and sellers, putting them together. So we have a program that we called Constant Contact. Many of you might use it in your business. And we have an active database of our sphere, members of the chamber, members of uh, the concierge, a lot of different things that we put together and then we slowly but surely reach out to them all and say, hey, this is the buyer list that we have or this is a specific buyer we have, uh, which is an amazing way to get a hold of people cheap, quick and easy. Um, my full team. When you work with just one agent, that one agent can only handle so many people at one time. Probably three to five buyers is the max that any one agent can have if they have active buyers wanting to buy right now. Me, I'm known as a listing agent. I handle, represent mostly sellers. Well, as a team, we represent lots and lots of buyers, um, and we have plenty of people on the team. So if I'm doing something like this, filming a video, there's four people back at the office actively looking for a home with all these systems that we have in, a, in place. So having a team is really important. Uh, when it comes to high-tech things, we already went over our computers, but uh, things as simple as an iPad. We have hotspots for internet that we use on our laptops. So no matter where we're at in the community, what we're doing, we can easily be working, finding homes, receiving and sending emails, everything necessary to actually get business done. So I could go on for hours about how, how high tech we are and um, the marketing people that we employ to actually help with all this is amazing. Um, and then there's good old fashioned human contact. I do a lot of charity work in the Valley. I do a lot of uh, coaching. I meet with business owners all the time, and, and I'm really out there in the community. So I hear about people wanting to move at all times. When you meet people, one of the things you talk about, believe it or not, just shut your eyes and think about some of your friends, you know where they live. So if I said I was looking for this kind of house, a gated home, 5,000 square feet and more, somebody might say, hey, Mike, I know that person. And that's, of course, me being out in the community, touching people every day like I do, finding homes. So that's a lot more powerful than one would think as well. Um, probably the last thing and something that's really important is living here my whole entire life. Almost 40 years I've been in Santa Clarita Valley. I've met a lot of people. I know more people than most people will ever consider meeting um, just on Facebook alone. 5,000 friends that live in our community. So it's, it's really a special thing to say, I know a lot of people and I know where a lot of people live. Uh, so when it comes time to finding inventory, we put all these systems in order and that's how we do it. Um, you know, people will call me, Mike, I've been looking for, with my agent for months and months and months. I say, what specifically is your agent doing, showing you and telling you uh, to find you a home? Well, I don't know, I get emails, but all the houses are gone by the time I see them, of course. Well, like anything else, interview your agent properly before you go shopping. Make sure they're dealing with the full team, their escrow, their title, their mortgage. All those things have to come into place, so when you do find that home, write the offer, we make sure we get it for you. Um, and more importantly, close that home. So I think you get the idea. I'm available anytime for interviews over the phone in person, or if you just want to come in and sit down and chat with me and get a feel for the market, get a feel for what we do, see how serious we are about finding you a home, I'm always available. My cell phone number is 661-212-8075, and my website, search for homes on there, santaclaritarealestate.com, that's santaclaritarealestate.com. Thanks for watching SCV TV and our Minute with Mike. Have a great day.